You may have seen actress Megan Good in Jumping the Broom, Think Like a Man, or on the arm of her husband, pastor and producer Devon Franklin, who just recently celebrated the release of Miracles from Heaven. I'm really excited because uh, it's, it's out and... Uh, it's incredible. It's yeah. so, so good. And I'm not just saying because he's my husband, like, it's so well, good. You can say it for that reason, too. That's cool. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> I acknowledge it for that reason, but I'm saying it, like, yeah. you know, it's pretty darn good. Devon and Megan met during the filming of Jumping the Broom back in 2011. Not long after that, the two started dating. As the months passed, it became clear that something was different about this Hollywood couple, and everyone wanted to know why. People would come up to us and ask, well, how did you get to know each other and what was going on? Then the truth came out. Devon and Megan were waiting until marriage to have sex. As expected, their decision created quite the buzz in Hollywood. But to the couple's surprise, many were intrigued by the idea of abstinence. As we started telling our story, more people were interested and people began to really want to get real information that could help them in their love life. What I found is a lot of people, not just in the world, but or that are here in Hollywood as well, that are practicing it, that would never talk about it. They're too embarrassed. They feel they'll be shamed or that they're old school. Devon had made the decision in his early 20s when he began serving as a pastor. I wanted to be the same person that could get up and preach and the same person that would go home at night. Didn't want to be a liar, didn't want to be a hypocrite. He also recognized the ideas that premarital sex was acceptable and even beneficial were based on a lie. It's just the mere presentation of doubt that maybe it's actually not as bad for you as you think, or maybe it's actually better for you than you think. And that is where the lie comes in, that we don't need to follow God's plan, that there is a better plan out there, an easier plan, and a plan that'll make you happier. Mm -hmm. And the truth is, there isn't a better plan. God's plan is the best plan, and it does require sacrifice, and it does require obedience, and it's not always easy, but it is deeply rewarding. Megan, on the other hand, bought into those lies at 19, she started making compromises, hoping to hold on to love. She discovered years later that it did more harm than good. You give a piece of yourself away. You lose confidence in the essence of who you were created to be to begin with. And so as you go from relationship to relationship, you know, or, or if you are being promiscuous throughout those years, it, it damages you. Those decisions also affected her relationship with Devon. When we first got together, I had so much baggage and so much damage and so much pain. We had to unpack it, and it was difficult. You know, it was a lot of um, even pre-engagement counseling where we literally just talked and, you know, we found that I had this deep-rooted kind of like, just this feeling of like, I'll never be enough for somebody, no matter what I do, no matter how hard I try. And it took a long time for us to really get to a place where we got past that. After 13 months of dating without sex, Devon and Megan tied the knot in June 2012. Now coming up on their four-year anniversary, they're convinced that their decision to honor each other and God has strengthened their marriage. I've never been in a relationship before where I have so much trust. It's just given, you know, us a whole lot more peace, a lot more understanding. Honoring God in this area, He has blessed every other area because when you present your body as a living sacrifice, He honors that. In their new book called The Wait, the couple share their story to encourage others that a strong marriage is worth waiting for. Because practicing it had benefited our lives in such an incredible way, we felt like we wanted to share it so we could help somebody in their life. Our goal is not to be preachy or be judgmental or tell people how to live their lives. It's to say, you know, this is what we did and it changed everything.